generic greetings and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. In the previous episode we fixed some more computers and did some upgrades and we're going to do the same again. Let's end the day and see what we get. So our magical Sinek healing did not work sadly so um, Hazel's had to send their computer here in order for us to uh, take a look at that one and it's probably going to smell of incense. Ooh, diagnose and repair. I am immediately seeing that it is extremely dirty and that's probably bust something so let's remove this here and for a start we'll dust it out so we'll say install compressed air um, not because it's going to be like a robot wars flipper i um, using that but because well we need to spray it out and then we will check to see what the hell is broken so we'll just dust this out so this is giving us visual clues on what is actually wrong with the thing obviously we're assuming that uh, something has uh, gone kaput. So let's just go to cabling here and what we'll do is connect everything up and if it boots, it boots and we know that the power supply is okay or at least, well, that's not strictly true. Uh, so we fire it up and no CPU found. Okay, so the CPU is busted and as you can see, the fan is gone. So maybe the, maybe the dust has clogged up the fan or rather, yeah, burnt that out and then that's the process over, overheated. So that's probably what's happened there. But anyway, we'll remove those, and we'll remove this one as well, and we'll diagnose the problem, and it's probably both of them bust, so let's just check. So, processor, bam, hammered, gone, not working. Um, we do actually have a second-hand one in stock, so we could install that straight away. Term of cooling, yep, that one's broken as well, so we are going to assume that what, we, what I mentioned earlier has happened. So, the dust has clogged that up, and then, you know... It, you know, it does say broken as well, so it's not just the fact that there's no heat dissipation because all the fins are um, chocked up with dust and dirt and lint or whatever, um, and hair and other detritus, but I assume, yes, it's it's broken the fan and there you go. So we can go to CPU processors and we will install that one there. It is used, but that's fine. We'll install that one. So that one is broken. We will sell that one. It is a G3900, G3900. Yes, so it's fine. So we can install that one there. We could install the uh, much better processor, but there's no real need. Um, we're going to assume that this is just a standard office PC, so we don't need anything great. Now, I could order a... Ah, we're going to have to. Damn it. I was going to say, we could... We could forget about it and order, um, and not order another one. Well, we could order that one, same type of thing. Or we could use the one we had in stock, but this one, sadly, is for the M3, 4, and FM2, and 2 Plus sockets, so we can't use that. We're going to have to get another one of these, so let's just order one of those in. So we will go to shop, shop, and it is cooling, and it's for... Coffee Lake. No, it's not, actually. It's for... Actually, use it for Coffee Lake. Thermal 100. Thermal 100, yeah. Kirby Lake. Oh. So, we'll, do we order the same thing? We might as well. We might as well just order the same thing. Although, that would be better for them. And it's only a little bit more expensive. So, perhaps we'll do that. So, I think I got rid of that fan, didn't I? Coffee, Kirby and Skylake. Yeah, so we'll add that one. Okay, that's fine. Having one in stock, having a couple in stock is always useful anyway, so I might order another one. In reality, you'd probably, once you've played it enough, you'd know what bits are coming in, and you'd get several of them in stock, and then you wouldn't, you wouldn't get next day delivery like we're doing because it's very inefficient. Uh, you would just have a certain amount of stock in there, but then you could argue that having certain stock in there goes out of date, and then what you save on not paying on postage, you lose out on having redundant stock. But ugh, whatever. Um, so that one's going to be ordered. So that's that's a quick fix. We can sort that one out. Let's go for the next one then. So this is upgrade. Actually, this is fixed replacement. Uh, now this one here. This is um, upgrade, which is an upgraded to four gig of RAM. So that's a quite simple task, I believe, because we already have that in here. So there's the there's the two gig which we're going to take out, and then we will install. Sadly, we'll install a bright red one, which doesn't look very nice at all. Hmm. That just 
doesn't sit right with me. Mm. I'm gonna... Yeah. We'll, we'll use it, but... Yeah. I'm not overly keen on that. <laughs> but I am trying to save up for other things in the office, so... We'll do our best, so we'll run through the mark. And once it's ran, we know that this one's all completed. So quite a simple job. Very, very cute background there, isn't it? Aww. Right, so we'll run that. So, that one, diagnose and fix. Well, we are we have fixed it. By the way, leaving an open cooler with that compound like that, very bad idea. <laughs> you just get a bit of dust and stuff in there. Yeah, that's a cooling coefficient wrecked. Anyway, so this one is fix, which is replace power supply, replace graphics card, probably for a like for like swap. And in terms of that, we have um, power supplies, none in stock at all, and graphics cards. We have a couple of secondhand ones, so we might look out and get something close to them, but we'll see, won't we? We'll see. That is currently running like a slideshow as expected. I'm not going to take that off the bench because, well, this one will be done in a little bit of time anyway. Then we'll move over. To, we'll move it over to the other one. This is why having three benches is useful because obviously you can then work on all three. And you know, storage cupboard's good as well. I guess once you've got a storage cupboard, it's uh, quite good because you can then. Um, instead of using next day delivery, you can put them in there and then come back to them. Although having like six or seven PCs on the go might be a little bit difficult. Especially the way it itemizes stuff. Like sometimes it'll tell you what it is. And I think you've seen, uh, what I think it was one earlier. Or one last episode where it was saying that it was owned by someone else where it wasn't. <laughs> but hey ho. So how is that getting on? It's getting there. It's getting there. So there's what I've been done, so we'll leave that by the door. We'll come back to that. So, let's see what graphics card it is. A red MSI, so if it's a 5, if it's a 1050, we're looking out. Ah, no, it's ready on anywhere. Okay. So we'll take that out. So we need to get a replacement for this. And the power supply needs to come out as well. And this has got that double bracket on, which allows you to uh, install it from the back. Or rather, remove from the back. Which we'll then have to... Oh, we can't. Look at that. That's strange. Oh, there we go. Um, so take that out. Take that out. And we might be able to look out and just get access to that cable. How am I going to get access to that? Am I going to have to take this side off? I'm going to have to take this side off, aren't I? I don't really begrudge you that. <laughs> Having to take that out uh, is that one. And then we remove the power supply. Okay, so the power supply we have um, Power King 350. So, power supplies. 350. Are we going for a like for like swap? Oh, 510. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's tentatively. No, let's not add that to the card. Let's check the graphics card first. I mean, we could put one of these in. Oh, no. VRAM 8 when compared to that. No, no way. So we want a 470. And it was... It'll be the 8X, won't it? Probably. Yeah. The X8G. Hang on. Why didn't that save? So it's the 470 X8G. 470 X8G. 300 quid. It's that one there, yeah. And that one is... A bit cheaper. Okay, we'll go for that one. X probably means just like slightly overclocked. Um, yeah, slightly. Core frequency is a little bit higher. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Right, so power supplies. Um, 350 is got in there. 
Although, quite frankly, I have to say it'll be alright. Let's see if we can get a decent. I mean, we can get a we can get a, a cooler master bronze five hundred in there. Just checking the wattage. That's fine. And one hundred forty. It's all standard size. So we're paying a bit more, but we're getting a better one, I think. Yeah, that should be all right. Okay, so we're ordering that in. So cooler, graphics card, and the power supply. We will um, collect the original. New bits available. Uh, it looks like a GT 1030 OC 2 gig. Never heard of that. It sounds budgety though. Overheating PC. Bought a PC from you a while back. The guy called Tim. It was always seemed to run a bit hot. I thought there was nothing to be done about it. It was good for mine. Dr. Waterman told me how you fix the machines, so I wonder if you could have a look at them as well. Diagnose and fix. Run 3D Mark. Accept. Okay. So, um, I'm guessing the cooler's bro broken on it. Okay. I'm assuming the cooler's broken. What I'm going to do then is increase this. I'm going to increase that so we've got another Krayog M9i in there. And we will say next day delivery. And what it means is that whatever motherboard they have, we should be able to fit it uh, with a cooler because we already have one of the AMD ones in. So that should be fine. Anyway, let's just get this one installed here. So this is cooling. It is... Uh, what? That one? What? Hang on. Why did it install last time? It's the same one. Are you joking? Is that me just messing up, or...? I have no idea these days. <laughs> um, let's just put that in. I thought we had... Oh, no! Of course, of course, because they ordered two of them, so it's not me. Right, <laughs> let's power that up. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to say, don't, please don't say I just ordered an initial one, not, but I, I did order the two, so that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so there's one machine done, and whoa, all kinds of... It's pearlescent, the paint. Or, a, uh, well, it's either a pearlescent paint, or it's a graphics error, which I <laughs> assume it is. So this one, we will replace the PSU, so we install power supply unit. Uh, that's installing the broken one, let's sell that. So we'll install that one in here. Slide that in and... Oh, that didn't work, did it? There we go. So that's in now. And we will install... Graphics card, which is that one. And then the cables. Strangely, isn't requiring any other connectors in that one. This is the one with the loom on, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the shield. Oh, there we go. That would probably allow me to... No. It would allow me to turn it on, but it wouldn't... Um, it would error out. It would error out when we try to send it back to the customer. And rightly so. There we go. Get this all back together now. Feels good actually getting all this this one done since you've ripped it most of it to bits. And powers up. Working. Leave by door. Excellent. Alright. So, uh, I will collect that later. So this one was uh come back to us, diagnose and fix, run 3D mark. They said it was overheating, so. Let's check that cooler. Actually, you know what I might do? It says it's overheating. Now, we shouldn't really do this because it might cause more damage to it, but I assume if it's been running for a while, a little bit of to, a little bit of on won't do much. And, oh! I don't know whether it was supposed to look a bit dodgy, but that fan didn't spin up at all properly. Hmm. Okay, power it off. It could just be a case of it not having thermal compound on it because that was one of the original problems before I'll just put that back on then 
Yeah, it could just have been that. Yeah. Right. That's fine then. Don't even need to change the cooler. But it's always good that we have one in there. Um, tools, USB pen, shove that in there. Power the thing back on. We'll install them on 3D Mark. Hopefully it won't overheat. There we go. Not too bad at all. Restart that. And fire it up. So while that's running, we will collect some of these. So emails, we've got... Uh, that one to collect. New parts available. Pentium G4 620 and a motherboard. We've got overheating, which is getting sorted. Uh, that one we've done, haven't we? That one's done. And that one is collecting. Yeah, that's the diagnosis and fix. There we go. And discard that one. Excellent. So, uh, bad energy. Thank you, for uh, words. Thank you for attempting to repair my computer. However, on receiving it, I know it still doesn't turn on. Is say uh, I'm disappointed and I have to teach a call expert how to fix a computer. One of my friends at the Woodsy Alliance tells me there may be malevolent spirit to blame and client to believe them. Could you check the system up for any malicious energies and purge them? So remove viruses. Important, do not get too close to the computer while conducting the ritual. Our magnetic essence will blank the hard drive. What? <laughs> yep, you, you're joking, right? This one was one where I oh, managed to break something. I hear you work with computers. We're getting some like repeating stuff now, aren't we? Um, very loud grinding noise. Maybe the hard disk drive. Yeah, almost certainly. If you hear a grinding noise, you can tell whether the the um, the plat is getting hit by the the thing. Oh, the uh, the arm. So we will collect that one. New parts available. Uh, another hyper beast. And we've got an upgrade here. So we've got discard that one. So we've got place the hard disk drive in the graphics card. Uh, exorcism of computer and upgrade graphics card and uh, upgrade to four gigabyte of RAM. But we will leave it there. Um, don't know what. Where would you like to go from here? Obviously, we are now getting a lot of repeating things, and I understand that. Um, that that can be, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of the stuff that the game has to offer now, I think. And uh, the more we go on, I think the more we're just going to be doing the same sort of thing. Obviously, the stuff that we can go for, there's things like, um, in terms of the tools, there's like auto connect tool, quick screw tool. But the moment to moment is still going to be the same. I don't think there's going to be anything else added, really. It's things like the, uh, you know, things like the PC bay, which is second hand parts. That's the only really new thing that I've uh, I can see getting. Uh, there's no very little settings for the lights and stuff. Maybe later on, once you're higher level, you'll get different bits to do with uh, the 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 fans internally of the computer. But at the moment, it's just things like graphics cards and things like that. And I don't know whether that's just the nature of the beast and how the game plays, or whether or not it's uh, it's a uh, due to later on. But obviously, we're not there yet, and it depends on whether. Um you really care to uh, continue getting that but so far yeah we've had a lot of episodes a uh, decent amount of playtime on this one if you want to continue then by all means let me know otherwise we will call it good and we might come back to this we might not just as, as always like i said let me know and we will go from there so far it's been um quite successful i think and not making a hell of a lot of money but enough to keep this thing afloat pay the rent and uh, obviously upgrade our upgrade our um our office but uh, no real money for anything else. We are only making a tiny little bit, even though we've been putting in cheap parts. But anyway, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.